And still the luster glitters. He hasn't fought since last July, but remains in extreme demand. The ex Hakuho has not only landed a TV commercial, which involves suiting up and sipping Kidin beer with top entertainer Tamori, but will also throw the first pitch at Tokyo Dome on Thursday night. Rare is it indeed that a low-ranked sumo coach gets such attention and adulation, but deservedly so. In Nagoya right now, Shodai is fretting over his fourth bid to avoid demotion in just 11 Ozeki tournaments. After pummeling Yutakayama on Monday, did he speak to reporters, voicing concerns over humidity, which at night time clears 90%. And in the ring, he vows a change of approach. No defensive mindset, he tells himself. No more adapting to my opponent's charge. I must dive straight in, hit hard, no regrets. Front foot, no backward pulls. And after awful starts in March and May, he knows what he must get right. Opening day is a banana skin, he said. I often fight someone I rarely beat, while still unused to the place and the crowd. That's what I have to conquer. He expects to tire in week two, and needs plenty of wins before then. Tireless Tamawashi was still in Tokyo on Tuesday, reports Sports Hochi. With only three lower-level sparring partners, training is as much a test of innovation as it is strength. He's been charging into three-man conga lines and fighting two colleagues at once, for example. I've been working on initial charge speed, which I lack, he said. I'm not the most skillful, so it's all about power. Shohozan's recent departure makes him Sumo's oldest salaried wrestler. We spoke on the phone once he quit, Washi revealed, and he wished me good luck. His goal was to fight until 40, but mine is rather to fight for as long as the fans are convinced. Washi's pursuit of perfect power sumo resumes as he chases four straight gold stars. Uda, we learned, has been in Nagoya since last week and is fighting practice bouts. My extra weight these days provides scope to charge harder and push from the front, he said, but I'm still getting used to this heavier frame. Technique-wise, power-wise, all over. I'm just not quite there yet. But I certainly don't feel handicapped by age. Had I not been injured so much, I'd of course be training more. It's his first tournament since turning 30, you recall. Top flight newcomer Nishiki Fuji, despite recurring left elbow pain, continues to fight 50 bouts a day. And has been offered a place in the Yokozuna ceremony, provisionally. Terunofuji said, come and join me on stage, he revealed. And as he's always looked out for me, I'd be delighted should that happen. But with experienced stagehands, Takara Fuji, Midori Fuji and Terutsuyoshi, all higher ranked, he may not get to play Dew Sweeper yet. Elsewhere, Shimano Umi, whose wedding ceremony was held last month, has revealed he's taken his wife's family name of Fukuzono, a common Japanese way of preserving dynasties. He thus follows Tsudugamine, Terao, Sakahoko, and at least two Kakurezans in taking the Fukuzono name to the ring. And in tandem does he firm up his status as the heir to the stock that the family owns. Izutsu, meaning current holder Toyonoshima must soon find another. Finally, it seems this channel has crossed the mark of 50,000 subscribers. 
Well, I hope at least bot satisfaction is high. But seriously, that is good to see, and merits a special message of thanks, of course, to all of you who have helped the channel grow. The potential audience is far from small. So let's try to switch more casuals to regulars, starting with Nagoya.